All right, well, before we get into the, the Ram hauling, we're in the 450 right now, taking a video for, for John. So when we started this job down here, this we came behind somebody else who, uh, well, it was, a, it was a disaster, that's for sure. So there was a big mound of ground here, like another three or four feet high. So the water came down the hill, hit this, and then washed everything out. You can you can see the washouts down there. Uh, they they said they put a a drainage ditch in, and when we dug it out, it was literally stumps. This is the drainage ditch. This was supposed to be all clear rock and stuff, but anyway, so we put uh, we put two lengths of culvert in, ran it across, ditched up this way because there's a culvert on top of the hill that comes down, catches this, and then goes down that way. But we did that, and uh, now we got some we got some work to do because we're we're gonna end up cutting cutting this level here down to that level, back build a rock wall up, and then taper it up that way, and all the extra fill from here and from here is going to go right into this big crater that they created. This was the footings for his garage and this whole bank. They just dug it straight up. It just all collapsed right in here. So we got some work ahead of us. Well, all right, folks, after a lengthy, lengthy uh, episode of getting the machine loaded on the trailer and getting the hoses hooked up on the mulcher, man, they call them quick connects, but sometimes there's nothing quick about them, especially in the winter time. It's like minus 12 degrees. That was a nightmare, uh, to be honest, but they're connected now. The machine is loaded up and ready to go. So if you're new to the channel, this is my 2017 Ram 3500 with the high output, the ice and transmission. Uh, the truck has like 83,000 kilometers on it now. I've had it for roughly seven months, I believe. And it's a good little workhorse. This will be the first time me hauling heavy like this since we put the new tires on, the General Grabber ATX. They're pretty aggressive, so we'll see how it handles the weight. But uh, I absolutely love hauling with this truck because it just gets into the tight areas so, so nice. Um, I've got the boom loaded forward, the back of, uh, you know, the the actual machine itself right over top of the axles, basically. And then with the weight of the mulcher and the boom and the stick everything going forward this is this is where it tends to like it the best uh this is a how many gvwr is this trailer it's 25 plus 5 the gvwr on the trailer is uh 34,000 pounds and i've got 26,000 pounds of payload which is awesome it's a k trail i just bought it this year i absolutely love this trailer to be honest okay well let's hit the road we don't have any crazy hills to go up there's a couple decent ones and there's some decent hills to go down but uh just see you know how this thing's holding up how it's hauling with the new tires my little buddy truck all right let's get on the highway i'm not gonna hammer on the truck i'm just gonna you know let it do its thing i don't need to tear the thing apart or nothing Definitely long shifts compared to the oh, compared to the the Fords now with those 10 speeds. My 450. And once she gets going, man, she uh, she pulls. I'm not to the mat at all. You see, she's speeding up here pretty good now. So this, of course, has the 410 gears. I'm in fourth gear right now. Yeah. Oh, fifth and then right into six. That was a quick, quick fifth to sixth shift. So once I get up here, get up here on the highway, I'll uh, lock the cruise in. Actually, I'll just do it right now and I'll let the truck do its thing. Set the cruise to 104 
which is, you know, like 62, 63 miles per hour, something like that. In fifth gear right now. Leveling out. <laughs> and in sixth. So obviously I have, uh, I have tow haul on and I have the full, full exhaust brake on. And this has the factory air suspension. So it's leveled itself out right now and it is a very, very comfortable drive. Very comfortable drive. So what are we at? Uh, we're at roughly 30,000 pounds. So with the, uh, you know, eight ton excavator, it's classified as an eight ton. The eight ton excavator and the trailer back there, uh, the trailer is about 8,000 pounds as well. We are, we're definitely at 30,000 pounds. So with the Malter on it, you know, the, the, the uh, thumb and, you know, fuel and chains and all that stuff, we're at, we're at 30,000. And this truck does, this truck does really, really well. There's a couple little things that I don't like about it. Um, I'll talk about those once we start going downhill, but it doesn't, this truck will not downshift. If, if I'm in cruise control, this truck will not downshift going down hills. It will, it will, speed up so I need to tap the brake once I tap the brake and the exhaust brake kicks in and the transmission realizes I want to slow down then it really does a good job but it it will not downshift in cruise control I'm actually going too fast for this guy in front of me so I gotta so I gotta slow down here all right so here we are going downhill and the truck is speeding up not a huge amount there though actually but I've shown this in videos before, the truck just, just does not seem to want to downshift going down hills. But now we've got an incline here. I'd say we'll probably have to go to fourth. There's fifth. There's fourth. So fourth is our one to one. We're at about, we're at 2,500 RPM, like exactly down to about 87, 88 kilometers an hour. And fourth holds it. Speeding up a bit now. Still climbing. Up to a hundred. Fifth gear, nice smooth shift. Starting to level out. gauge up I did just reset my speedometer here a little while ago if I can figure out how to bring this stuff up uh, vehicle info uh, coolant is that 87 so this is all in uh, metric 87 degrees Celsius, trans is 73 degrees Celsius, that's really cool. Oil is at 95 degrees Celsius. This is getting close to needing an oil change. Uh, in a previous video, my six month ownership, whatever, of this truck, I did mention that I, I, I've i done an oil change, but I didn't I didn't remember doing the, the fuel filters and the air filter. And then I got thinking, I think I actually did get that done when I had the oil change done, and I called the dealer to bring up my service records and sure enough I did have the fuel filters and the air filter changed at like 60,000 kilometers so uh, like 20,000 kilometers ago this this was changed so uh, so we're good we're good to go
So you know, this being the 2017, the fourth gen, I think it's 370 horsepower, 900 pound foot of torque, or like 880 or something like that. Which is uh, which is no slouch, but you know, it's not it's not like the new ones. The new Rams are at uh, 1,075 torque, 400 horsepower, and um, and the new 450s. Well, the new 450s coming out are at 1,200 torque, but currently like the one that i own is at 1050 torque 475 horsepower so you know quite a bit quite a bit of difference there so how does this compare to the to the 450 well it's a complete different feel like complete different feel this truck this truck just kind of kind of chugs along and just kind of does its thing uh it doesn't have like the it doesn't have as much power if I want to go out and pass somebody, if someone's going slow in front of me. Um, if I want to go out and pass somebody with this load behind me, I need to do it at the right time. Whereas the Ford, um, it definitely just has so, it, it just has that extra grunt, it has that extra power to get out and, and pass somebody. So obviously the horsepower at higher RPMs and torque at low RPMs, but. So it's a complete, it's a complete sort of different feel. Now, as far as stability goes, it's hard to, it's hard to sort of match them up because it's a regular cab truck versus a, you know, base model, a regular cab truck versus a high-end crew cab. So my 450 weighs more. So you know, you think that makes it more stable. 19.5 commercial grade tires and wheels versus, uh, you know, what's on this. I think they're 17s. But overall. This thing just feels just feels good when you're hauling weight. Like it's you're not gonna break any records with with uh, with speed, but it just does its thing, and it is it is really comfortable. It's really composed. I'm sitting here talking to you guys right now, going over bumps, and it's not like I'm getting beat around in this truck or tugged around or anything like that. Obviously, that goes a lot with with load placement, but um, no, it just it just does its thing. And I mean the exhaust brake, the exhaust brake completely blows the Ford away. There's, I mean that's just it's not even a conversation worth worth having, to be honest. I'd, I'd love to try one of the new 2022s dualies um, with the extra power, torque that these these Rams have now. Um, but with that said, man, that new that new top that new high output power stroke with 1,200 foot pound of torque, that's got to be. That's gotta be fun. That's gotta be fun. They must have figured out a way to keep that thing cool because man, that's a lot of horsepower and torque to be pushing through that engine. But anyway, we're going downhill right now. We'll see if this thing see if this thing speeds up much. So we're already up to about 108. I have my crew set at 105. It's a pretty good grade. This is this will be the steepest hill we'll be I'll be going down on this on this route. Right up here is where it gets the steepest. Right here. Yeah, we're up to about 115. Uh, we're right at about 120. Just about 120. So that's 15 kilometers an hour faster than what I'm asking the crews to go. This thing will not downshift. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know if it's this truck or if the fourth gens are are all sort of like that. Now again, if if I wanted to, if I was just driving without holding this camera, if I wanted to tap the brakes, well then it would slow me down big time. It would it would downshift. The exhaust brake would really kick in and it would slow down really really well but on its own and cruise just won't do it yeah you've absolutely got to love the exhaust brake on this thing I'm not touching the brakes at all you can hear you can hear the exhaust brake turbo slightly. I love it.
Yeah, I gotta say that right now, uh, if my 450 and this truck are parked side by side, I uh, and I need to haul something, I jump in this truck. And it's not just because of performance, and it's not really even because of performance at all. It's just because, uh, you know, that's that's a really expensive truck. And I like to keep the kilometers or miles as low on it as possible. And the wear and tear on it, um, you know, as low as possible compared to this one, you know. Um, but, I mean, I love this exhaust brake, and I, I love how it hauls. It just does just does really well so here's another reason why I like taking this truck is because sometimes you need to unload in sort of crappy areas and this truck was a heck of a lot less expensive than what my 450 is so this is a, a road a private road I don't want to block it off so you know what a couple bushes up against it if need be uh, there's some rocks sticking up which I avoided but you know it's all <laughs> That's all in my mind big time when I got the 450. Well, just like that, another successful delivery for the little buddy Ram. Straight shot back now to the South Shore. Beautiful. This is one of the nicest, nicest beaches around. One of the most popular ones, especially for people coming out from Halifax because it's not that far from Halifax to here. This is Queensland Beach. Okay, well, we are off and on our way. Beautiful down here. Well, there's a trailer back in its perch. Another delivery made for the Ram. So now, I'm back in this beast. Just handed the Ram off to John because this has the car seat in it. So I gotta go do a bunch of running around and pick, uh, pick the big man up from daycare later. So, with my tandem that I have now, I don't need three dualies, technically. I could get away with two dualies. In the wintertime, probably can get away with one because most of my work in the winter time is local. So I am very, very, very much considering selling one or two dualies right now. And I think I would keep the Ram because if that was like my one dually or if I had two dualies, because if the stuff's going on the road and I'm not gonna see it for a long period of time, I don't really wanna hand this expensive truck off to go on the road and beat up through the cell tower roads and um, as bad as what they are constantly. Uh, so I think I would, I'd keep the Ram for sure and possibly the 550 or get another truck at a lower trim level or something like that. So I'm really considering selling this truck, believe it or not. Um, so if you're looking for a 450, here's one. Anyway guys, who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows what I might be doing and what I might have up my sleeve right now. But that is gonna do it for this one. Um, great being back in the Ram, hauling some heavy loads again. It did great. It's comfortable, like for like a base model sort of truck, the Rams are, are by far the most comfortable compared to, compared to the Fords XL and XLT, uh, XLT seats. Oh my goodness, day and night. But anyway, uh, until next time, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then. Bye.